May I once again request all our distinguished delegates to kindly be seated with their mobile phones either switched off or put onto silent mode from now onwards, please. We shall commence with the proceedings of the inaugural function in a few moments from now. Thank you. Of the inaugural function. We shall commence with the proceedings of our inaugural function in about 15 minutes from now. Meanwhile, may I request all our distinguished delegates to kindly be seated with their mobile phones either switched off or put onto silent mode from now onwards, please. Thank you. Our guest of honor. Mr. Shamal Datta, former Governor of Nagaland and former Director, Intelligence Bureau, Government of India, is also here with us. Reddy, Vice Chairman, National Disaster Management Authority, to kindly join us on the dais. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together to welcome our Honorable Chief Guest. We also welcome our guest of honor, General John P. Abizet, former Commander-in-Chief, U.S. Central Command and Distinguished Chair, Combating Terrorists, Center U.S. National Military Academy at West Point to kindly join us on the dais. I invite His Excellency Sri Shamal Datta, former Governor of Nagaland and former Director, Intelligence Bureau, Government of India, to kindly join us on the stage. I also invite Sri Krishan Verma, formal Special Secretary to the Government of India, Sri Sushil Jwirajka, President ILFI, and Dr. Mahesh Vai Reddy, Director General ILFI, to kindly join us on stage. Please put your hands together to welcome our distinguished dignitaries on the dais. And ladies and gentlemen, as I call the inaugural function to order, may I once again request that all mobile phones be either switched off or put onto silent mode from now onwards, please. Thank you. Namaskar and good morning. Our Honorable Chief Guest, Sri Shashidhar Reddy, Vice Chairman, National Disaster Management Authority. Our guests of honor, General John P. Abizet, former Commander-in-Chief, U.S. Central Command. His Excellency, Sri Shamal Datta, former Governor of Nagaland and former Director, Intelligence Bureau, Government of India. Mrs. Meera Shankar, former Indian Ambassador to the United States of America. Distinguished dignitaries on the dais. Special invitees, senior officials from central government, distinguished delegates, respected members of the press and media, ladies and gentlemen. I have the privilege in welcoming you all to the inaugural function of the Security Conclave and the International Conference on Security, Intelligence and Technology, organized by Infrastructure and Logistics Federation of India, ILFI. ILFI is a not-for-profit national apex body created specially to generate a much-needed synergy between policy industry in the infrastructure and logistics sector. ILFI's objective is to create a vibrant economy with all-round development and unlocking India's immense growth potential by enhancing the quality, durability and security of its infrastructure. 
Its primary concern is to identify and stimulate collective growth opportunities and enable holistic efficiencies across the infrastructure and logistics industries. Towards the end, it aims to bring together policy makers, business leaders, domain experts, and all those directly associated with these sectors. And this conclave, ladies and gentlemen, will focus on physical and cyber security issues, intelligence and analytic and law enforcement efforts in securing critical public and private infrastructure. And we now wish to welcome Honorable Chief Guest and our distinguished dignitaries on the dais with floral bouquets. To do the honors, may I request Sri Sushil Jvirajka, President ILFI, to welcome our Honorable Chief Guest Sri Shashidhar Reddy, Vice Chairman NDMA, with a floral bouquet. May I request you, sir, to also welcome our guest of honor, General John P. Ebizet, with a floral bouquet. Thank you very much indeed, sir, for gracing this occasion. And thank you, Mr. Jvirajka, for doing the honors. May I now request Sri Krishan Varma to do the honors of welcoming our guest of honor, Sri Shamal Datta, former governor of Nagaland, with a floral bouquet. Thank you very much, sir, for gracing the occasion. And thank you, Mr. Verma, for doing the honors. May I now request Dr. Mahesh Bhai Reddy, DGILFI, to welcome our guest of honor, Mrs. Meera Shankar, former Indian ambassador to the USA with the floral. Thank you, ma'am, for gracing the occasion. And thank you, Dr. Reddy, for doing the honors. May I now invite Ms. Devika Misri, project director, ILFI, to do the honors of welcoming Mr. Krishan Verma with the floral. Book. Thank you, sir, for gracing the occasion, and thank you, Devika, for doing the honors. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I have the privilege in requesting our honorable chief guests and our distinguished dignitaries on the dais to kindly light the traditional lamp and formally inaugurate the conclave. And for the benefit of our international delegates, the dia, when lit, emits light and derives energy. It is this very energy which is the life force that sustains us. Each wick being lit and passed from one to another symbolizes the sharing of knowledge. And each wick being lit today is a prayer for global peace and solidarity. 